Village. We're gonna do that loop. Talk to Ruth. Ruth! As you make way to the town hall, see another patch of flora full of potential interest, potentially interesting ingredients. Wow, look at all of this. Over your shoulder and sure no one's watching. I'm sure these plants and fungi are chock full of magic potential too. I'll have to take some home for research, though. I got away from I got away with foraging last time. No, nope, leave everything where it was. But there's a sign saying not to take it. <laughs> and a Ramsey. Kaka! Oh no, my it's a Ramsey again. Yes, I know just because there's no sign doesn't mean that it's free for the taking. <laughs> and just because it was fine last time doesn't mean it's fine this time. Not getting caught doesn't make it legal. <laughs> fine. Yes, yet again, you're right, but wow, look at the shiny thing. <laughs> As you enter Ramsey looks for the shiny thing, you put everything you can fit into your pockets. Now let's go see Ruth. You walk into the town hall and head to Ruth's office. I like the idea that inner Ramsey is an actual thing that looks around. As you get closer, a heated argument gets louder and louder. You find Ruth standing outside your office. The heated argument coming from inside. I already spent 75 of the bu the budget. No, no more buying nails, wood, or whatever you do. Fine, then don't have a stage or produce stand or produce stands or anything else. Oh, Evie, so glad you made it. What's going on in there? Oh, that's just Mel and Jonas figuring out the remaining construction budget and schedule. I should really be in there, but I was hoping to get that spell I requested first. Right, right. Right here. Chit chat. Chit chat potion. Just so you're about to hand her spell, Mel and Jonas erupt again. No, you're the one who stole my last five baseball cards. <laughs> oh, is that what this is really about? That was years ago. <laughs> Do they usually argue this much and this loudly? I think tensions are just running a little high at the moment. So irritating. <laughs> I'll yell at them for you. No, no, please, no more yelling. It's just, it'll just fuel them. Sometimes I appreciate the fact that Mel and Jonas are siblings. It means they feel comfortable being honest with each other. Only problem is that they can be too honest with each other now. They sound like a lot to handle. Perhaps, but also my responsibility and true blowups like this don't happen. This could have been avoided if I communicated my vision more clearly. I mean... Maybe humans aren't worth it. You're not their mother. There's only so much you can do about brats. <laughs> they certainly are acting bratty right now. But it's only because they care about the festival. Figuring out how much how to handle situations like this is all part of my responsibilities. Your actions in the short term can have long term effects. This is way too much for me. It's sort of like your magic, right? My magic is nowhere like being a mayor. I'm not taking I'm not making laws and stuff. Not like that. Magic only works when you can understand the intentions and desires of the person the spell is for. Hmm, that doesn't sound like something out of Impolitan. Elp, your grandmother told me that. Being mayor is similar in that you need to talk to the people for things to run smoothly. Understand where they're coming from and what they want. Ruth takes a deep breath and tears on his face. Maybe there's something not being said. If Ruth really believed what she said, you'd think she wouldn't look so sad right now. Maybe Ruth is trying to tell you what she said. Something when she said magic is like being there. Maybe Ruth has some secret intentions she wants you to help her with. Hmm. It looks like you never actually handed the spell over to Ruth. Over the spell Ruth requested. Take three of Mr. Ingredients you forged this morning. Last time you used a random green, it was kind of chaotic, but also cathartic, you think. Maybe one of these will help too. Leaves, grass, or seeds? Um... Let's go with... <laughs> um... We're gonna go with... Seeds? May maybe? Honestly, the leaves. Mm, what what do I feel would work? What do I feel attracted to? I'm thinking like I've never worked with seeds before. While Ruth is off in her days, you flip some seeds into the oil. Ruth, hey Ruth. Evie, how nice it is to see you. Oh no, it's Robo Ruth. When did she? How did she? I am sorry, but I have a meeting I must attend. Wait, you need to take this potion. My potion? Oh, that's right. How kind of you to bring it. I'm sure we'll get excellent work done now. Ruth takes the communications potion and drinks it. Not the experiment. <laughs> A loud noise again. 
Ah. Hmm. Calmer than I expected. Noted. Let's keep an eye on things, yes? Wreath enters his office. Carefully open the door and peek inside. Yes, I do my laundry. Almost every other day, in fact. You know you're supposed to use soap, right? Ruth just stands and looks around their office. Oh, Mayor, is everything all right? Ruth continues to look around. Mayor, are you there? The world is so big and we're so small. I don't think she's in there. Mayor, do you want to discuss the budget? No. The production schedule? No. What are we supposed to do? Should I go get Nisha? Maybe? Ruth, are you? I quit. <laughs> Oh my god. Ruth breaks out in hysterical laughter and walks out of the room. You manage to hide before she sees you peeping. Mel and Janice look at each other stunned. That didn't seem normal. We're all failing the stress of the festival. Let's get this budget and production schedule done. Um You come out from your hiding place. That was good, right? I don't know, but okay. You walk up to Janice's house and knock on the door. Oh, Evie, um, come in. Can I get you any? Wait, I'm out of you. Let me see if I have any coffee. Jonas, it's fine. I'm out of coffee, too. Would you like, um, water? I'm fine, really. I just stopped in to check in on me after yesterday's, yesterday's debacle. I figured you might. The whole town seems to know about it. Even Mel stopped by earlier to see how I was running up. You know, yesterday... Um... I don't like any of these ones, but... My fun might have backfired, but you try to explain, but Jonas is too nervous to know. I, I haven't lost my cool like that since the incident. The incident? Hmm. We wanna talk about it? I guess so. We don't have to. Nah, we can. It might help avoid future situations. Not that I want everyone to know, but maybe it's good if certain people do. Like friends. So... So... I wasn't exactly a model student. I was constantly getting yelled at by teachers to pay attention. Mel made it look so easy. She could study and study for days and get straight A's. But for me, I can do any of that. All it felt... All of it felt like too much. I could hardly sit down and... I could hardly sit down, let alone focus. Well, I could, but only on specific things. Like things requiring me to use my hands. Tinkering with things in shop craft class, stuff like that. Oh, I get it. Really? Yeah, it's why my grand decided to train me. Usually, Von Teasels get sent to prestigious academies and stuff. It's not like I don't know stuff. I just kind of feel like you're learning in your own way. Yeah. My parents didn't know what to do about it either, so they just kind of let me do whatever. Mel was their star child, so I didn't really matter. But Mel was never like that, even though she struggled with me most sometimes, too. Even though she struggled with me sometimes, too. Oh, that's cute. We're just wired so differently, but I could always tell she believed in me. Well, Mel and Jean. So when the incident happened, everyone realized that I needed something different. And what was the moment? I was sitting in class, she was teaching us something. But the other students behind me were talking, and they were con with construction of that, and one of the lights was, Oh, you have ADHD, child. <laughs> Some students noticed I was, okay. I was okay, so they crowded around me and asked, kept asking me question after question. Are you okay, Jonas? What's wrong? I know they only meant, well, but really I do, but it was too much. And I picked up my chair and threw it across the room. No one was hurt or anything, but Albert's like that. That still aren't okay. I ran out of the classroom and hid in the bathroom. Eventually, they found me and contacted my parents, but everyone was at a loss on what to do. I visited Mel to try and talk to her about it, but she got angry with me too, mostly because she felt disappointed. All this time defending me, and then I go and do that. Then Jean stepped in. He brought up my interest in putting things together. He mentioned the local builder in Florida was looking for an apprentice, and I should consider it. I blurted out, yes. Mel lit up too, and she took me to see the builder next day. The rest is history. So, um, yeah, that's the story. I feel- oh, poor- poor Jonas, he has ADHD. That's probably why he couldn't focus in class. He kept getting distracted a lot. At least I think he has ADHD. I'm not sure if he has it. Wow. Oh, because you threw a chair? That was a lot. All because you threw a chair? I should tell you about some of the messes my explosions have caused. I mean, there is more to it then. Yeah, I know. The more I get to know people, the more I realize everyone's just constantly figuring things out. Like, does anyone know what they're doing? Right? I ask myself that all the time. And then I'm in charge of ensuring everything's built for the festival. And I'm in charge of ensuring everyone can function. Why are we in charge of anything? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really glad we got to talk about this, though. Yeah. Me too. Well, I have some construction budget stuff to review. Yeah, I should probably get going, too. Catch you later, then. Yep, stay chill until then. I'll do my best. That red? Maybe pink? Burgundy! We're back to burgundy! Burgundy? Hmm, maybe Jonas is more mature than I give him credit for. Or at least he's more self-aware than I thought, but it sounds like he's still figuring things out. So yeah, burgundy makes sense then. I should take note of that and make more. I bet this is for, like, enchantments and stuff. Because there are these enchantments. There are six enchantments. There are six enchantments that I can do. And there's six people. Oh, and I'll... I'll get Nisha and Mel's stuff. Other colors. Okay. Mel is next. Talk to Mel. Time to see if this incantation's got Mel in tip-top shape. Knock up to the front door and knock. Door is flung open. Ah. Evie! Perfect timing. Mel does not look very... I know you said to stop those rituals, but I was wondering if you could help me with one teensy tiny little... No, you need to rest. But I need to focus, Jean. If I complete my tasks one by one, they'll get done. Wasn't Evie's charm supposed to help with that? Well, yes. But you see, we also recited some incantations yesterday. Incantations? Yes, incantations. And I think they did the trick. That sounds like a lot of magic. I know, isn't it wonderful? But then I had the thought of what's up there? If I do my ritual on top of Evie's magic, I might have a multiplier effect. I think you just need rest. But with magic, I won't have to. Isn't that right, Evie? Oh, no. Uh... Technically, she's right. Shrug. You don't want to get involved in the middle of this. Mel seems awake enough, so this isn't your problem at this point. I guess? Hey, Jean, just think of how great the festival could be if I get the double the amount done. Perhaps you stop spending time on rituals and spend more time on your tasks than get done. He's right. Yeah, well, you just spend your days baking the same cookies over and over again. They're cakes. Whatever. Cakes. Who cares? All because a critic made one snide comment. And then you lock yourself in the kitchen, obsessed over every little detail. You lock yourself in the office, and when do I see you? It's only when you come home to do rituals. All because people said last year's festival was boring. Yeah, well, who needs rituals when you have a grouchy husband to rile you up? Head to the office. I'll hunt to the restaurant with them. Mel storms out of the house and Jean walks out behind her. Am I magic just caused their divorce? That's what happened when people fight, right? I need peace. Mel needs peace. Lou? Lou! Yeah, that could do it. Something blue could help Mel at least obtain some tranquility in her life. Let me take note of that in my grimoire. That is the shortest interaction that I think I've had.